You right, Kyle? Yeah. This. What's your number, buddy? What's your number here, 57. 57, that's a good number. You going back out? Right. Hop on, buddy, and I'll give you a push. Okay. Get in around like 2 a.m. That like hour and a half drive from Spartanburg last night. Stopped at McDonald's. Waited in line for like 20 minutes to get like a cheeseburger. <laughs> McFlurry. Hit the road. I think we fell asleep until like 3. Probably, probably go ride here in a few minutes and then just chill for the rest of the day. Until we race. Uh, that was my dinner. Two skinny pops, a couple of beers. We ate a roadhouse at we had an afternoon snack at Roadhouse, so then I snacked the rest of the night. And then I finished off the night by killing the peanut butter jar. I was eating my peanut butter with a 5 millimeter wrench. <laughs> we didn't have any spoons. This is just like oddly uncomfortable, like consistently. Whereas the trigger point stuff is just like real bad, get a break, real bad, get a break. You know, this just kind of has me questioning life consistently for 20 minutes. <laughs> Currently we've been on the road for about five or six days. Um, and yeah, haven't even seen laundry. But perks of crit life. So, perks of the crit life. Um, just talked to my coach on the phone. Uh, we did a little bit of kind of debrief about Wednesday's race, um, how that went for me. It's one of my first races on, uh, fast races on, you know, big boy gears. I'm on an 11 this year instead of a 14. Just the plan a little bit for me tonight, and he was asking me what, uh, what some of my teammates thought we were gonna do tonight and what we were gonna try and accomplish, and et cetera, et cetera. I mean, when the race is at 8.30 at night, I mean, there's not much else to do, you know. Um, I never take naps at home. Four hours, yeah. This is 240 minutes. So we have a 20 minute eat time, and then we have 3 hours 40 minutes digestion before race. But 3 hours before warm up. It's perfect timing. About an hour out from leaving. Um, just pinning up this clean skin suit. Didn't do any laundry yesterday, so thought I'd wear something clean tonight. Uh, I've gotten out of bed to get some snacks and go to the bathroom. That's about it. Uh, trying to figure out where the staging is for the van parking. So we're going to drop the van off before the course all closes down, so that we've got like a nice team area to hang out and chill before race time. So I'm trying to figure out, they sent us a screenshot of a Google map instead of an actual map, and I can't read the street names on it. So I'm trying to decipher where this is actually at. Guys think that they could just dive bomb it and it doesn't doesn't relax, the barriers stay out, and they just clobber themselves. So just be mindful of that, that like, give yourself, if you get caught out in the back, just stay relaxed there, and give yourself room to navigate that situation if it happens. Don't be like, oh, I'm gonna fight for 30th wheel because it's gonna be a swarm and some guy's gonna send it. He told me in to move us to the front and I yeah. came up behind you and said, let's go. Don't make that acceleration like yeah, 650 like watts. Job. You know, he's coming around you. In the, in the finale, we gotta be together and we have to communicate.
Yeah, it's fine. I just, you know, I've tried to be up there for Dan as much as I could. You know, I got caught up in one crash, like the first lap, and looked down and I was missing a bottle. So I, was, I did that whole thing with one bottle. Then I got caught up in a second crash. Uh, honestly, hard, like, like, hard enough to the point where, like, didn't make it to the front in time. By the time we made it to the front, it was too late to help Daniel. Uh, and after putting in that effort, you know, I didn't start season up, so that's a day, that's a wrap. Went to the medics, scrubbed all the pavement out of my leg, and I'm gonna go get changed now and have a beer. Captain's over, we missed the move. Won the field sprint, so uh, with that, uh, we keep the speed week overall. I'm not sure by how much, but uh, leading's leading, so that's pretty good. And we also retained uh, the lap meter uh, jersey, too, so. Yeah, um, day's over. We've got about, I don't know, 45 minutes to bitch, complain, you know, mope, whatever. And then lights down, we can't fix it. So we uh, get our things together and uh, start thinking about tomorrow. And, uh, maintaining the jersey is a big thing for, you know, the overall. And maybe we get lucky and we can keep the lap jersey also.